What's happening, man? What's happening? Seriously. What's happening, yo? One day crypto is up, stock is down, then the opposite happens. Where do you see 45% gains in stock market? People are excited with like 2% gains, 1% gains. <laughs> hey, Tesla is up 1%, 2%. Oh, wow. And over here, XRP. You know what? Irony, by the way, this is not the topic, but just, just a little side note, you know? Crazy. This is XPR, all right? Check this out. This is XRP. And then you have XPR. So do you think some people are mistaking XRP for XPR, whatever, and then like pumping the wrong token? Oh my God, man. They'll end up holding wrong bags. Like 18% and 12%, both of them in a way. Anyways, ladies and gents, welcome back. I want to talk about this today. This, yeah. Let's not get off track, all right? And, as usual, kind of asked AI to analyze a few of these just to explain what's up. Why are these the most heavily shorted EFT, EFTs? ETFs? EFTs? EFT? Is there some anything called EFT? I don't know. ETFs. Rank 1 to 10. XRT, uh, G, JDST, TMV, KRE, XBI, XOP, Gold, EMF, I F F X I O I H. Wow, man, that's a lot. And look at the number here. This is insane. If everything is like going up, bull market, right? These are the heaviest like shorts. They're betting down, basically, right? 400 person. Look at this XRT, the top level, like 142. Even the number 10, oil, oil services. They're shorting oil. 40 person energy. Wow. Okay. So, ladies and gents, let's break it down real quick just see what's up because i gotta learn myself so i haven't gone through this asked my friend buddy yeah to do some work xrt sp uh, spider s p retail etf retail etf the, more, the heaviest one 443 percent short wow so retail i guess explains jesse penny and bunch of other whatever going down this etf tracks the retail sector which includes company involved in retail operations a high short interest suggests expectations of struggles in the retail industry, possibly due to economic downturns, changing consumer habits or supply chain issues. Totally understand that, right? That's the highest one. JDST. 142% shorts. All right. And this is the gold miners. Gold miners shorts. Kind of confusing. This leverage ETF aims to provide twice the inverse daily performance of the junior gold miners index. High short interest indicates a bearish outlook on gold mining companies. That's a little confusing. Gold goes up, the mining goes down. Okay. Hmm. 102%. This is the third one. TMV. Explanation. This leverage ETF seeks to deliver triple the inverse of the daily performance of the 20-year treasury bond. Investors shorting this ETF might expect lower interest rates, making long-term bonds more attractive. Thus, betting against the ETF which benefits from rising rates. Okay. This makes sense because of whatever is going on. That's kind of political and... Man, this is interesting. This is number three. Number four, S&P Regional Banking ETF. Banking stuff, collapsing, right? 102% shorts. Ladies and gents, please pay attention. I mean, there's a lot to learn from this itself. And how accurate is this? Well, I took this screenshot from one of the news outlets without being any biased, right? No left or right, just made sense to me. This ETF focuses on regional banks. High short interest might reflect concerns over regional banks' exposure to local economic conditions, regulatory changes, or rising loan defaults. This is all adding up so far. Number five, XBI. 76%, almost 77. This ETF tracks the biotechnology sector. A high level of short interest suggests pessimism about the biotech industry, near-term prospects, possibly due to high valuations, regulatory changes, or setbacks in drug development. Okay. Biotech, biopharma, oh, I'm not too sure how far that goes, but yes, okay, makes sense. XOP, 61.81 person. This ETF targets the oil and ga gas exploration and production sector. The significant short interest indicates bearish sentiment potentially due to volatility in oil prices, regulatory pressures, or environmental concerns. 61% oil, they're betting. It's like a total gloom and doom scenario right there. Look at this, like shorting every single sector. Not the tech sector though, if you notice, right? So far, I don't see the tech sector here. ProShares, ultra short Bloomberg natural gas ETF. 
This leverage ETF aims to deliver twice the inverse of the daily performance of the Bloomberg Natural Gas Index. High short interest would indicate expectations of natural gas prices rising, thus betting against this ETF which benefits from falling gas prices. Wow, okay. Number eight, EMIF, 50%. The, the percentage is so high. <laughs> the ETF focuses on infrastructure companies in emerging markets. Investors shorting this ETF might be concerned about economic instability, political risk, or currency fluctuations. That's 50% itself. FXI, 49.79%. This ETF tracks large cap Chinese companies. Large cap Chinese companies like Alibaba um, and some of those, right? The giants. Hi, I mean, Alibaba is a retail. Um, e commerce. High short interest may reflect worries over China's economic growth, regulatory crackdowns, or geopolitical tensions. All right. Last but not the least, ladies and gents, this is number 10. OIH. This ETF invest, this is 40.22%. That's pretty decent here. Yeah. This ETF invests in oil services companies. Again, this is the second one, natural gas, and then we have oil. And this ETF invests in oil services, okay? Okay, bearish sentiment could stem from expectation of reduced oil drilling and exploration activities, a broader negative outlooks on the energy sector. Is it because of the EVs? Could be possibly, right? Analysis. All right, let's actually read this real quick. The significant short interest in these ETFs reflects various macro macroeconomic concerns, sector-specific challenges, and market sentiment. Retail, high short interest, um, economic uncertainty, consumer spending. Explain that. I mean, this is just a really quick rundown. Why would you give me six when there's 10 of these? Oh, well, makes sense, I guess. Gold and natural gas. Uh, okay, this this is cool. So kind of adding it up together. Leverage ETFs are particularly risky and high short interest indicates volatile commodity price expectations. Financial and regional banks. Concerns over economic stability and rising loan defaults might be driving bearish sentiment. We know the commercial and highest loan, right? <sighs> Trillion dollar credit card debt. Financial and regional banks, KRE. Concerns over economic st stability and rising loan. Oh, read that. Biotechnology, XBI. Regulatory and de development challenges in biotech can lead to high volatility and risk. Oil and gas, XOPOIH. Volatility in energy prices and environmental policies contribute to bearish outlooks. Emerging markets, EMI. EMIF FXI, political and economic instability in emerging markets, especially China. And okay, verdict. While short interest provides insight into market sentiment, it's essential to consider the broader context. High short interest can sometimes lead to short squeezes, where prices rise sharply as short sellers cover their positions. For investors, understanding the reasons behind the bearish sentiment and assessing whether they agree with the market consensus is crucial. Risk-averse investors might avoid these heavily shorted ETFs due to the perceived higher risk and volatility. May see opportunity in short squeezes or undervaluation in sectors with high short interest. There could be so-called short squeeze, whatever you want to say. But at the same time, I kind of it makes sense to me if you really think about it, whatever is happening. It's kind of scary when you look at some of the other stuff going up. Obviously, literally, crypto is in the next level. But if you look at some other stock and Today's stock market is closed. Look at NVIDIA. It's just taking a breather right now, sitting at 129. But these are the tech stock. And we are not talking about just stock. We're talking about ETFs here. So anyways, ladies and gents, what's your thought on this? These are the, right now, the top, well, 10 most heavily shorted ETFs. Just wanted to break it down so I could learn something and give back something, right? Let me know what's you, what you think in the comments. And I will see you in the next vid.